Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and let us have a good time together. Before we start, please remind your friends that uh, the, the easiest way to find me, actually I will make a video for you guys to post it in YouTube. So always when we have a problem with the garbage of YouTube, people will be able to find me easy. Uh, the easiest way, you know, is uh, we have a page in Patreon where if you go there anytime you click at the last video we have there as you see in the screen this is the banner it shows you uh, patreon and always you can go there and you will see the last link i posted in youtube for broadcast this will be the link i'm going to use or let's say the page in youtube for my live broadcast and the second option as you see in the same banner minds.com which is minds dot com slash christian prince uh, we can make it a little bit bigger so you can see it in the screen <laughs> this is a place where i post my live broadcast or coming live broadcast or the last one at least so you know, you'll find out where we are and the other one which is facebook which is as you see the address in the front of you the christian prince uh, facebook so there is many ways always and don't forget the Arabian uh, prophet which is uh, the Instagram and always you can join us there too and you can follow so you will be right away updated uh, anytime we need uh, to update you that we are going live on air always before I go live on air I post around so people will be updated uh, in the moment uh, not only I you know we schedule the video because sometimes we change the, the timing due to many reasons so join us and uh, uh, be part of what we do and welcome everybody now we have a Muslim he said to us <clears throat> uh, in his text his his, uh, his name is sister Fifi uh, sister Fifi said in the in the text uh, which I don't have no more because we deleted the video uh, he said or she said uh, how come let us actually show the screen CP you are saying that Quran teach about Satan and morality uh, he meant you are saying that the Quran is coming from Satan hmm? some claim that Quran was work of the devil let us examine how much sense for nonsense <clears throat> or nonsense uh, you know I find it very very nice and very uh, like a kind of a comedy when a Muslim speak about sense and nonsense like it makes sense that when you go to heaven Allah will make you a lot of women with no panty and 80,000 little boys around you serving you naked so to one to make one person happy he will make hundreds of thousands of people human being slaves that makes sense it makes sense that the good God he is a pimp and he wanna provide me with women he promised me if I believe in him just follow me you know and I will give you a lot of women okay and they have no panty mm hmm and not only that I will give you a power of 40 men for sex brother I mean look who is talking about sense it it, it it makes sense that there is a prophet his name is Solomon he took a flying carpet and he put all his kingdom in the top of it and he went all the way to Yemen hmm it makes sense his horses his camels 600,000 chairs his kingship the whole kingdom is a flying it makes sense even Alibaba's story it did not beat that so when a Muslim he speak about what is making sense can a Muslim even mention the word sense and nonsense I mean we did not mention the stories that there is like where the sun set in murky water where they find the people of Gog and Magog who they are not a human and they will destroy the earth and they can sleep in their ears and each one of them he can have sex or for, uh, and have more one uh, more than 1,000 baby before he die I mean where are they, those seven trillions because the 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 ratio between us and them is one to one thousand from each one of us one from one is one from them one thousand and he built the dam and now they cannot cross the dam why the earth is flat what do you mean there is a build the dam so we put a wall between us and that said they cannot cross it that's mean the earth is a flat 
the story alone here proving that the earth is a flat in the Quran. So when a Muslim speak about what makes sense, it doesn't make, does it make sense even to be a Muslim for a second. So let us see here. <laughs> the allegation is, allegation, sorry, allegation, allegation, is if he authored uh, 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 or inserted the Quran, uh, why would Satan curse himself and call himself worst enemy of man? I mean, guys, why he would do that? Okay, have you ever heard of something called the spy as an example? That somebody who go between the enemy and he act as he is one of them and he joined the army of the enemy. And in order what? The order that this spy would destroy the whole enemy by leaking their information. So if a human being and he is not Satan can do that, he joined them to be one of them. Can Satan do that? He's Satan. So what Satan will say to you? Satan will say to you, I am Satan, worship me. Let us see what the Bible say about that. The book of wisdom, not the book of shish, kebab, hummus, tomato, potato, book of Muhammad. Matthew 27, be aware of false prophets, which comes to you in a sheep clothing, but obviously the sheep is what? Is raving wolves. Did you hear the story when you were a kid? There is a there is a girl. She go to the uh, to to visit her grandmother in the wood, and then uh, the wolf wanna eat her. What the wolf do? He speak like as if he is the grandmother. So those are for kids. Aren't you an adult? Shouldn't you know? that Satan will not come to you in a close of Satan. He would not say to you, I am, you know, that he's Satan. And I believe here, the real Satan is Muhammad. Muhammad himself, you see that the verse here is saying, be aware of false prophet which come to you in a sheep clothing. That is Muhammad. But he is Satan in the same time. And we can prove it so easy. So Satan will not come to you in a cloth of Satan for that will damage the purpose of him being Satan. Isn't it Satan is about deceiving? If we go to the Quran, and it, don't tell me now you don't believe in the Quran. Right? If you don't believe in the Quran, well, that would be funny. So the, when the Quran says don't follow Satan, but in the same time he teaches the teaching of Satan, obviously this is Satan talking. Hmm? If I say to you, <clears throat> don't follow Satan, and the same time I say to you, go do a muta, or go attack your neighbors, kill them, and take their women, their children, and just because, brother, uh, Allah, He gave us their money. Hmm? Isn't it, this is Satan? Isn't it the, the, the Quran says that? A shaitan, he want to do dalal. Let us see one by one. <clears throat> and we will compare verses with each other so we can prove our point that Allah, he himself, is, the, is Satan. Look what the Quran says. Chapter 4, verse number 60. Satan, he wish to lead them astray away. Actually, the word astray here is a stupid translation. For the word here is dalal, yudril, which means deceive them. Change the translator. As usual, we have to do that always. Not a single one of them have decency. Let us see different translator. Maybe, maybe one day we will find a single translator who have decency. Hmm. Here we go. Satan will lead him astray. What's it? Why you don't use the exact word in Arabic where it says yudullahum, dalalan ba'ida, deceive them? The reason, the reason 
is very easy to understand. For behind all of this work is Satan. Because if you go and read the same word, Yudil, you will find Allah, he do the same as exactly as Satan. Who is the one who lead people astray? Let us see. Quran here saying, Satan, he lead you astray, correct? Okay. Let us see and discover the identity of Mr. Satan. Peace upon him. This is your Quran again. All what I will type in the search engine, I'm not going to search for a verse, specific verse. Hmm? I will type the word Yudil. The same word appear in the verse about Satan. You see it? Hmm. The same word. Okay, let us see. Chapter 13, verse number 27. Read carefully with me. Truly Allah leaves to astray whom he will, and he guides to himself who he will. <laughs> so now what we found? Well, we found that shaitan, he lead you astray, and Allah, he lead you astray. So who is the shaitan? Which one of them? If Allah, he lead you astray, and shaitan, they lead you astray, so they are two faces of one coin. Is that correct, guys? What do you think? Isn't it proving what we are saying? Both shaitan, and look, this is the Muslim translation. And by the way, it doesn't say lead astray. It says you deceive, deceive. This is why my book is called Deception of Allah. You can go right now into the dictionary. You will find the word yudil. It means to deceive. Like you make somebody believe in something in order to hurt him. Not deceive, uh, like that's nothing good about it. So, Satan and Allah, they do the same work. Who want to deceive me? Quran says in chapter 4, verse number 60. Satan wishes is to lead us astray. Who do the wishes? Who make the wishes happen? Allah. Truly Allah leave to astray whom he will. <laughs> oh boy. How easy it is to prove that, by the way, who wants some coffee? Anyone want some coffee? This is a Greek coffee. I love it. <clears throat> so when the Muslim, he says to us, okay, how shaitan, he speak against him and says, to, to deceive you, how he would deceive you? He want to make you believe that he is not Satan. He will come to you in a clothes of a sheep when the fact he is the wolf who will take you to hell. And the Quran confirmed that Allah and Satan, they are both have one target. And the funny here it says that Allah is the one who deceive and Allah is the one who guide. But look, hold on. Let us go to a different verse and love together. <clears throat> look at this. Unbelievable. Chapter 4, verse number 88, and chapter 4, verse number 60, is very similar. They are the same chapter. Isn't it funny? The same chapter say that the one who Allah, he deceive, nobody can find a way for him. And look at the false Muslim translation says, for those whom Allah thrown out of the way, never shall find the, the, the way. The throw out of the way. What, where is the word, the way? Well, what is that? Change the translator. Coward, hypocrite translators, no dignity whatsoever. Let us see this guy. Maybe we can find something. It's a it's a hilarious realism, brother. Here we go. Hmm. What astray again? Guys, look. Read this verse with me. Do you want to guide those whom Allah? has led astray. Who is the one who led them astray? Allah. And Allah saying, do you want to lead them? Hello, I am the one who deceived them. Whomever Allah led astray, 
he will never find for him a way. Do you see it? <clears throat> But is it this is the same or this verse same? Is it? If we ask Zachary about this uh, this issue, for sure, you know Zachary is a genius. You know, his, by the way, you know, we know, we told you how, how Muslims ex explain the word genius is coming from Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad, he met a girl, her name is Jean. He said to her, can I have nikah with you? She said, yes. So they became the word, word, word genius. And this is a true story. Sahir Bukhari, hadith number 1315, uh, what? Hadith uh, number, okay. I mean, who care? You can say any number, any, any number you say, people, they don't, uh, Muslim, they will not even question. So what Zakir Naik will say about that? Use your imagination. Zakir Naik, for sure, he will come with a very decent answer, and he will help us uh, to understand the logic of Allah. Hmm. Let us call him. I think he is now doing a school. Uh, teaching. Yeah, I'm right. You see, I just turned the microphone there. He's in the school. I will call him to his old phone number, which is nobody knows except Allah and genies. Who? Christian friend, I told you to call me. Uh, Zach and Nick, uh, just a second, man. Take it easy. I just want to know how in the world this is happening. That Allah is the one who deceived and Shaitan is the one who deceived. And the one who Allah deceived, nobody can guide him. So why Allah sent his prophet if nobody can guide the one who Allah deceived? That means everyone who is deceived is deceived by Allah. What do you think? Good the Prince. First of all, your question make me dizzy. I am dizzy already. Actually, I feel like I have a closed eyes because of your question. Can you repeat the question again? Okay, well, that's not really a big deal. If Allah is the one who deceives, and nobody can find a way for the one who Allah deceived. That means everyone is deceived, is deceived by Allah. That means there is no need to guide anyone because nobody can guide the one who is deceived by Allah. For nobody can guide the one who has been deceived by Allah according to chapter 4 verse number 88. So how we can guide the one who is deceived by Allah if nobody can guide the one who is deceived by Allah? That means Allah is the only deceiver that exists in the world. Get the question? Great breath. First of all, I did not drink my camel urine for the morning. And this is why I feel very slow. You have to repeat the question again. Oh, Zakir Naik, come on. I mean, what are you doing, man? I cannot repeat the same question again and again. First of all, I got you busted. We mostly we can repeat the same verse again and again and again. But you cannot repeat the same question again. That means you are stupid. If you cannot repeat the same question again, how you can even ask the question? Uh, Zakir Naik, oh, hold on. I'm not saying I cannot repeat the question, but I'm saying this is boring. Uh, I can't repeat the question. A second ago, you said to me, you can't repeat the question. And it's recorded. It's recorded, I have witnesses. Yeah, I say that. Exactly. And this is why I say that you are stupid. Uh, Zach and Mike, don't make your tongue so long. Huh? I want to make you bite it. I will not bite my tongue because I don't have teeth. <laughs> I got you bite it again. Idiot, stupid. Okay, so Zach and Mike, let you repeat the question for the last time. Please focus with me and drink camel urine. Can you drink camel urine before we ask the question? Okay, well done. Hey, Why well, you are licking it, man? Drink it. Exactly. I'm not licking it. But this is the way we do it here. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, are you done with the camel urine? Mm. So yummy, huh? Okay. So I'm asking you, if Allah is the one in chapter 4, verse number 88, is the one who misguide and deceive, and the one who Allah misguide, nobody can guide. So how Allah, he sent the prophet, his name is Muhammad, to guide, if he is the one who misguide everybody and nobody can guide the one who is misguided by Allah. So what the job of Muhammad, if Allah is the one who is misguiding everybody and Muhammad cannot guide everybody. So who Muhammad is and what Allah is, the question is yours. Christian Prince, first of all, I can answer you, but you have to repeat the question. Um, 
I thought you drank camel urine. I did not drink enough. We have to drink more camel urine. And we are very limited in 30 days because of Corona. Yeah. What Corona have to do? Because we are fighting Corona with camel urine. Uh -huh. And the Muslims are dying left and right, man. Exactly. Because we are not having enough camel urine. And we are not growing enough um, uh, camel. Mm. Okay. All right, Zach and Nick. Obviously, you don't have an answer for the question. Great Prince. I have an answer, and I trained you not to hang up on me. I repeated the question already three, four times. Exactly. So how I say, you say, I'm hanging up on you. What is the answer? I'm waiting. Oh, go ahead. I'm not going to answer you. And I will make you desperate. And I will make you die. Question the question, and you will never have the answer. And that's a lot of this. Okay, so you are saying you have no answer. I did not have an answer. I have an answer. We must not have answer for anything. Ask me a question. I just did. This is not a question. This is what like a repeated question. We don't ask a repeated question. But it was repeated because you asked me to repeat it many times. Exactly. And this is the way we avoid answering the question because it's repeated. But it's you who asked me to repeat the question because you said it is, you know, you did not get it. So I repeat it. Exactly. This is called deception. We are doing near deception. So I mean, they, you, you repeat the question and this is now you accuse against you. And I will say to you, I can't repeat the question. Because it repeats the question, we can't answer it. Okay. Well, it makes sense, Zachary. I mean, you're a Muslim. Everything you say makes sense. Exactly. There are two things in Islam we can do. The Prophet, when he talks, he makes sense and he makes sex. What? Uh, and forget about the second word, you know, this is the, 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 the haral, but for later, you know, because um, my wife is waiting for me. Okay, Zachary, I don't think even that thing you can do. You cannot answer me. I don't think you can do the other one. Good, sir, friend. I can do it and I can prove it for you. Huh? Okay, Zach and Nick. Don't turn the fan on because you will fly. You are too light. Okay? Take care, Zach and Nick. Good, sir, friend. Don't hang up on me. You see the coward? He's hanging up on me. I trained him to debate me and he ran away. Hey, Zach and Nick. Okay, I will not hang up on you. You are going to answer? I'm not going to answer you. So why? I'm going to stay with you online. Because simply you have to stay with me online. Otherwise, if you hang up, you are running away from me. And I want to tell you, show me your faith. What does this have to do with Allah deceiving? Show me your faith. I tell you to show me your faith. Okay. Okay, okay Zach and Nick, take care. Hang up, coward. Coward, it's recorded. It's recorded. Everybody is my witness. It's recorded. I'm going to put it in my 2 million people subscriber Facebook. Everybody will be laughing at you, coward. I ask you to repeat the question, and you repeated the question, and people will laugh at you because you are stupid, and you did what I want, and this is victory to Allah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, wa mata Allah, and let us now fight the past Ramadan, uh, so no, we can de defeat you. Well, Ramadan is past. Exactly. But Ramadan, you idiot, can go in July, can be in August, can be in November, can be in December. It move, brother, it move. Uh, what, kind, what kind of uh, year you Muslims have? Keep moving from place to place to place to place. Is that a calendar or a blender? Christian friend, our calendar is like a blender. It keep moving around. You like it, like it. You don't like it, what you can do about it. Thank you very much. Don't hang up. Did you hang up? Huh? Okay, it's recorded. All right. The calendar of Allah. <clears throat> the blender. Hmm. Any Muslim? <clears throat> mm. By the way, everything we said is not true because Muslim they will say I just made it up in all of this conversation. I just from my brain. So because the Muslim they will say, eh, brother, this is not Sabila Ahmad, this is not Sabila Ahmad, and this is not Fifi, and this is not the brother, uh, the brother. The, uh, brother. <laughs> I am a baby. I am the baby which you Muslims, your, your big ones are afraid of. From. Which your God, Allah himself, is terrified because of me. You see how baby I am? I am the baby who made millions of Indonesian read my books and laugh at Muhammad. You see how baby I am? Yeah. Talking about baby. The baby is the one who marry a child. She is six years old. Obviously, he think he's a baby too. Hmm? The boy, Muhammad. In order to marry a little girl, you have to be a little boy. You have to be stupid like a little boy to think about 
six years old little girl you have to be mentally sick to the point you think you are just a little boy and you can do that don't talk about babies now as you see we proved that shaitan and allah is the same both of them they misguide you both of them they don't want you to be uh, 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 guided and look at this here this verse proven to us that there's no satan except allah why if allah allah is a questioning muhammad and muhammad by the way he made this verse because how he want to explain why nobody want to believe in him so he made this verse saying do you want to guide those whom Allah, this is the, the word here translated as God is not true. It's a false translation. Who Allah has led astray. Allah is not the word mean God. Whomever Allah led astray or deceived, you will never find a way for him. But look at this. Everything happened by the will of Allah. Ask any Muslim. The Muslim they say to you, anything happened huh, is by the will of Allah. <clears throat> If we go in the Quran, how, because we need to prove it, a Muslim can, might say, uh, no, no, it's not about deception, it's not about uh, not to believe in Allah, this is a different story. No. Let us see. <clears throat> Let us see how Allah function the deception of Allah right all of those words in the Quran is about kuffar and kafir but the Muslims are kuffar too according to the Quran and we can prove that very easy look how many times look 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 Huh? all of those but the Quran have verses which is amazingly proving to us the identity of Allah as an example if Allah want he guide all the people if Allah want, but Allah don't want. Let us do one by one. <clears throat> if Allah want, he can guide and he would guide all mankind. So what is stopping us from being not guided? Allah. Is it clear? It is just the will, the will of Allah. People are guided or misguided is not an opportunity of a choice for you. The Quran make it so clear. It is Allah who guide and Allah who misguide. And whoever Allah misguide, nobody can guide. And here it's about deception. Other verses in the Quran make it more clear that if Allah want uh, To make us believers, he can make us believers. If Allah, he decide to make you anti-Allah, he make you anti-Allah. If Allah wants you to kill each other, he will make you kill each other. Everything is the will of Allah in Islam. As an example, if we go, in chapter 6 verse number 107 <clears throat> it says Allahu ma ashraku, ma ashraku. 
if Allah want, they will not be kuffar. So who is the one who deceived them? Allah or shaitan? Right? The Muslim, they say to you that in a certain time, the Kuffar, the Arab, they used to kill their children. But the fact, this is a wrong interpretation for the verse and wrong understanding, but we will go with it, no problem. The Quran says, even when somebody kill his child, according to the verse understanding, as Muslims, they claim, even that action, it is Allah will. Let us see a different verse. Look how many verse now we open. I hope people are taking notes. <clears throat> Chapter 6, verse 137. The Kuffar, the one who don't believe in Allah, and the funny they call them pagan, when Muhammad is nothing but a pagan, he gets a stone, he go around the stone, he born in front of a stone. Everything about Islam is paganism. It says, that the one who made partner with Allah, huh, they slaughtered their children. Okay, who is the one who led them to slaughter their children? If Allah had willed, they would not done such a thing. Read it. So who is behind this? To make you understand more, Muslim believe in destiny, which means anything happen to a human being happen by Allah will, which means if you kill, Allah made you kill somebody. If you rape, Allah make you rape somebody. If you steal, if you etc. A Muslim might say it's not true, you know, they have big mouth, but we can't get them busted so easy. It is agreed. Muhammad, the founder of the cult of Islam, what he said. Are they going to say Muhammad is, in, is a liar? This is Sahih Muslim. Sahih is a word in Arabic mean authentic. Verily, Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which man will indulge in and which of he of necessity must commit. Do you see it? It is a necessity to commit. It's not a choice. So when you make uh, an adultery, it's not you who really, who choose to make adultery. It was the choice of Allah. Allah, he said, you do this, you do that. When Allah supposedly created you as, the, as Muhammad, he claimed, he wrote your destiny when you were even not even born yet. You are just in the in the in the womb of your mother. Anything happened to you in this earth, it happened by the will of Allah. وَمَا أَصَابَ مِنْ مُصِيبَةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي أَنفُسِكُمْ إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مِنْ قَبْلٍ. What does that mean? Not a single thing happened in this earth as bad, ugly, disgusting happened to you, but it was a destiny made by Allah.
chapter 57 verse number 22 anything happened to you it was in the, the, the book of destiny it is by Allah will it is before you are exist it is there this is somehow very close to the Hindus and the karma thing you will find too much similarity between the cult of Islam and the and the Hindu uh, uh, belief where you know uh, there is a karma and there is energy and etc and so here the energy is Allah and that energy is the one who decide what you would do it's not up to you the energy of Allah obviously is an evil energy because why this good energy if it's good energy will decide for you how much adultery you will do how much killing you will do and you have and you must of necessity as you see which in of he of necessity must commit that is Satan the purpose of this verse is to make you feel comfortable that this is destiny I cannot change it this is Satan even Muhammad when he ordered the people to kill and slaughter each other the people they start feeling guilty so what he said to them he said do you know what it's not you who shot him it's Allah and this is a statement you will see every single ISIS when they slaughter somebody he recited this verse chapter 8 verse number 17 it's not you who killed them it's Allah who killed them it's not you who throw your arrow it's Allah who throw the arrow do you see it can we make it more clear and what, what more clear than this Hmm? if not Allah will they will not be pagan if not Allah will you will not kill if not Allah will you will not commit adultery if not Allah will you will not be Christian if not Allah will you will not be a, a Hindu if not Allah will, it, it is the will of Allah so all of this is a game of a Satan his name is Allah he makes a statement to comfort us in order to believe in his garbage that you cannot change that it's me who made you, you know, yes you killed but it's me who killed feel comfortable it's not you who killed it's not you who slaughter it's not you it's not you who shot how this is can be from Allah if Allah is a true God it can be from Allah only if Allah is a false God and he is Satan the second we say is a false god. That's me we are saying. He is Satan. If you see Muhammad speaking about God, what Muhammad he come to us with? There's a guy, his name is Jibreel, he come to us. Okay, what Jibreel, what Jibreel duty? Jibreel duty is to teach us our religion. To teach us our religion. But that would be a total contradiction for what the Quran is about because the Quran is the word of Allah and Jibreel is just delivering the word of Allah so how Jibreel is teaching us teaching us our religion huh? How in the world Muhammad he says such a statement? They said to him, Who is this messenger? You know, he said, That was Jibreel. He came to teach you your religion. Who is this Jibreel who will teach us our religion? 
And by the way, this is existing in Bukhari and Muslim. This is very authentic. Is Jibreel is the one who teach us our religion or it is Allah who sent Quran? Because if Jibreel have a teaching, then where is the teaching of Jibreel? Unless it is the Quran and that will make the Quran made by Jibreel. The Quran, because it's made by a stupid idiot, made it more clear that Quran is not from God. There's a verse in the Quran where it says, in the chapter of the Taqweer, إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلُ رَسُولٍ كَرِيمٍ What does that mean? Let us go to the Quran. Actually, it appeared in two verses. Read and love. Read and love. The Muslims not only do they not know who is the messenger here, they are confused, Jibreel or Muhammad, but the Quran comes from doesn't matter who. The Quran is not the word of the one they call him God, Allah. It is the word of a messenger. All this talk is saying that, okay, innahu, and this is a statement, the word of an honored messenger. Between two brackets, because the Muslims are confused, who is the messenger? Jibreel or Muhammad, it doesn't matter. If it's Jibreel, that means this Quran is not from God. The Quran says it's from Jibreel. If we say, if we take this part here, it says Jibreel. And this is the Muslim translation, by the way, not mine. The Hadith says that Jibreel is the one who came to teach you your religion. So the Quran is not from Allah. The Quran is from a guy, his name is Jibreel. And who is this Jibreel? In the Hadith it says that the Prophet, he met an angel, his name is al Abyad, And he is Satan. He came as Abiyad, which means white, because he wanted to deceive Muhammad. Let us see if we can find you the hadith. Is that the Abiyad? The Satan who came as a, because you see in Islam, uh, uh, angels are white. Satan, excuse me, this is Muhammad's statement, not mine, is black. So Shaitan, in order to deceive Muhammad, he come to him as a white angel, and he told him that he is Jibreel. <laughs> How nice the story is. Because now we do not know who is really an angel and who is really a, a Satan, according to Islam. Any Muslim have anything to say? Any Muslim he wanna, is willing to say that uh, Christian Prince is lying, as you know, usually you do. Everything we showed is in the screen, it's in front of you. Anyone? <clears throat> Any Muslim? <clears throat> I 
Exactly. This is what the Bible teaches that even Satan in the Bible, he was an angel, right? Satan, he was an angel. So is he capable of coming as an angel? Yes. Satan have a, 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 a like a scary power. And the Quran confront to us that there's a guy he came to Muhammad, he squeezed him three times, and Muhammad did not know what this guy he wants. He told him read, he squeezed him again, he told him read, he squeezed him again, he told him read, he squeezed him again, three times. And here we have to question from the beginning how legitimate this is story. Because this angel, who Muhammad said he's an angel, he did not say even I am an angel. And not only that, there's a story before this story happened. I don't know how many of you know it. Uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and tell your friends. And always, always again, before we forget, always to find out where a Christian prince he go live. And I will make a short video. I hope all those who do load my videos, they will post it. Uh, we want you always to subscribe to those who they post my videos because my videos stay there. But when you want to go live, this is how you find us. You go to Patreon slash Christian Prince as you see the link in the banner. And you find the last link I posted for my coming broadcast. That's very easy. If you have Facebook, you can subscribe to Facebook. As you see the address there. And there always I post when my coming broadcast will be. If you have minds.com, where I have a page there, this is my account in minds.com. And this is my account in Twitter, but I don't use Twitter much. And for sure, we have in Instagram, Arabian Prophet. So always uh, take a note about how to come and join us and to be part of what we do. Uh, so you will not miss being with us live. And this is our Instagram. So who is Allah? Allah is Jibreel. Jibreel is Satan. Shaitan is Muhammad. How we can prove that Muhammad is Shaitan? It's very easy. If you go in the Quran, I can prove Muhammad is Shaitan in, in, in a few words. But just to make it, Simple for those who have zero knowledge of Islam. Zero knowledge. And remember, I use only the satanic verses. Literally, I call it satanic verses, which is the Quran. All, of, all the Quran is satanic verses. But you believe it or not, there is verses in the Quran, Muslim believe, which was satanic verses, and Allah, he took it off. Can you believe that? If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. Chapter 22, verse number 52, it's confirming to us that the book which is called Quran is made by Satan. Who is the one saying that? The God of Muhammad himself. Satan. Never we sent, never did we send a messenger or a prophet before thee, but when he framed a desire, Satan threw some vanity in his desire okay the translation here is not really not being honest at all i mean he throw what what in vanity what does that mean did he throw quran change the translator Again, they did not tell us what his shaitan he threw and why they are hiding. Change the translator. See how many times we have to change the translator? For all of them, they are a bunch of a fraud. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we have some wording. Never did we send the messenger or a prophet before you, but when we he recited a revelation or narrated or spoke shaitan, like a Satan, 
throw between two bracket some falsehood in it but Allah abolish that which shaitan throw in so what the Quran confirm that shaitan have a hand in the Quran he put satanic verses using the mouth of Muhammad I mean how much evidence we want more the book of Muhammad itself saying shaitan he made satanic verses and make Muhammad say them he throw it in his recitation do you see it not my words if we go to the interpretation we will find that the shaitan he throw when Muhammad was reciting he throw words and the people believe in them and Muhammad did not notice so what happened now if I am a messenger and I speak I speak for who for the one who speak in my mouth a prophet is a mouth speaking for God God words so when the Quran confirm that Muhammad mouth became or become the mouth of the devil so who is Muhammad and who is his God and now the Quran want to make you feel comfortable after Muhammad get busted everybody knew now that he is a fraud so he want to say okay well hold on Satan he did that but Allah will take it off Uh, somebody saying, uh, cuckoo saying, let us show this question. <clears throat> Did Satan throw verses in into the heavenly Quran as well? Most of them will say, no, this is only in the Quran, which is in the earth. Right? But it doesn't matter anyway. I mean, what Quran in heavenly? You see, one of the funny things, the Muslim believe that Allah, he wrote his book which means a tablet. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? God, he wrote a tablet for him, himself. Why? God, he, have a, he need to remember why, why you write. Uh, you see, we write books, we write books, for we are limited. We write down numbers, for we are limited, we cannot remember everything. If I remember, I don't write, I do not need to write anything. It's in my head, that's it. If a human being have a ability or capable of remembering, all books will not need it. And the second reason that we don't live forever, so we can transfer our knowledge to coming generation. Allah, he don't need that if he is God. If he is eternal, if he is almighty, that's mean he have almighty memory. I mean, how big the computer of Allah in his brain? <laughs> Why he need to write a book? And the funny Muhammad, he made it more clear. He said even that in the Quran, Lawhun Mahfuz. And Allah, he put this lawh or tablet between the two eyes of an angel. His name is Israfil. And why Allah he put the, the, the uh, this is chapter 85 verse 22. Why Allah he put it there? Because he want nobody to see it. So now if the angel Israfil, he tried to look at it, he get across eyes. And the distance between the angel Israfil, the two eyes, is the same distance brother between the heaven and the earth. Do you see how big the, the, the tablet of Allah? This is not iPad, this is not iPod. I mean, you forget it. That's the biggest tablet ever. If any Muslim dare to say I'm lying, challenge me. We will put the reference and we will read the interpretation. All is written by you. Everything we are saying here is written by you, made by you, translated by you. And here we ask ourselves, if Allah, he wrote the Quran in a tablet to preserve it, why he cannot preserve it in the earth? If the Muslim, they will say, will Allah, he preserve the Quran? Will the Quran prove that it's not true? Shaitan throw in the mouth of Muhammad many things. Shaitan, he made Muhammad believe in many things. 
Shaitan, he said that this is the word of Jibreel or the word of Muhammad. This is, cannot be Allah speaking. Allah should say, if Allah is God, should say, and this is my words, and this is my teaching. But to say this is this is the words of honorable messenger, where is the word of the, which, which word of those words are the words of the, or the Quran? Is Allah a messenger? Is Allah the honored messenger? The Muslim, they will say no. Well, the Quran says, well, this Quran is the word of honorable messenger. Who is that messenger and who is the owner? You see, because if an Jibreel is just a person who do delivery, this is not his words. You know what I mean? When a messenger, he come and deliver a message from the king, the message is the message of the king, not the messenger. The messenger is just a delivery person. So if Jibreel delivering the Quran, how the Quran become the word of the honorable messenger? And he is honored by who? Can we make it more clear than this? Anyone have a question? We have an admin. I don't know why she cannot come as an admin. She, she sent me a text saying she is blocked, but I did not block anybody. I'm not sure why she cannot come. If you are using different name, just tell me what's your name and uh, we will add you again as an admin. Do we have any Muslim? Any Mohammedan? And by the way, the verses about satanic verses is the best way to get Mohammedan busted when they say the Bible is corrupted. We explained that to you last time. Why? Because the verse saying that Satan, he do that with all the prophet. What he do? He tried to corrupt the book. Okay. And what Allah will do? Allah will cancel anything. So how you say the Bible is corrupted? Are you getting my point? How you say that Allah will cancel anything shaitan he throw in his books and he mentioned all the messenger before. Not only Muhammad. Listen, listen carefully. Never did we send a messenger or a prophet before thee, but he framed a desire or he throw verses or whatever in there. Satan, Satan he throw there in their desire. But Allah will cancel anything. Satan he throw in. In where? In the message of the messengers. So how you idiot you say that the Bible is corrupted? That's totally against this statement in the Quran. And this is again additional proof that the Quran is made by the devil. Why? The devil always contradicts himself. How we knew that? If you go in the Quran itself, the book of the devil, you will see the Quran saying, if this, if this book is not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. Allah says that, supposedly, to make us feel comfortable, supposedly he is sure that we are stupid, we will not notice. Don't they consider the Quran? Had we been from other than Allah, they would surely found a lot of uh, contradiction. How more clear we can make it? Any question? So if the Muhammadan they say to you, the Bible is corrupt, what you quote for them? Chapter 22, verse number 52. This is one of many verses to prove this is stupid. Actually, the Quran has many places where it says that the Bible never been corrupted. Nobody can corrupt it because Muhammad, he confirmed it. But the cowards, the liars, they don't even want to, you see the corruption have stages. Muhammad is a corrupt man. He is the devil himself. The Muslim after him, they follow the step of their prophet. They practice taqiyah. And this is another proof that Islam is a fraud. What kind of God he teach you to practice lying? 
as a profession. If you go in chapter 3, verse number 28, Allah is teaching you how to be decent. How to be decent? Lie to them. Read carefully and the easy proof that Muhammad is the devil himself. He is not from the devil. He is the devil. This verse in the Quran says, believers should not take non-believers and they call us hypocrite. The funny, they call us hypocrites. But read carefully and let us see who is the hypocrite. The believers should not take the hypocrites, which mean you and me supposedly, as companion, as a friend, or, or the Jews or the Christians. They should not honor them. And those who they are sincere from the Muslims, seeking might who do, who, do, who do that the one who doth that which means he take the christians the jews the hindus the buddhas as a friend seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrites and disbelievers as a friend he has no connection with allah find me one muslim country is not kissing the shoes of a trump find me one muslim country in the center of arabia is not asking the american to send their army to protect them Anyone knows which country? There's only one Muslim country actually. Reject the power of America. It is Iran. And they replaced them with Russia. <laughs> which means the same at the, at the end of the day. The biggest American base is the base in Qatar. And Qatar is number one supporter of the Muslim Brotherhood, which their flag is Wa'iddu Lahum. This is the flag of the Muslim Brotherhood. What does that mean? Prepare for them to kill them. This is the flag of the Muslim Brotherhood, which is the Prince of Qatar. And Erdogan, they sponsor because this is their party. Prepare for them whatever you can of horses, horses. But remember the Quran says in chapter 5 verse 51, in chapter 3 verse 28, and many other verses, you cannot take them as a friend. And look what the Quran says here because we did not finish. And the one who has taken those non-Muslims as a friend, he has no connection with Allah. Okay, he's not a Muslim no more. He has no honor, no mercy, no protection, which means Muslim can kill him. Unless, look at the unless, that here is the devil. The devil is showing his teeth. Unless, so you cannot take them as a friend unless you are lying to them. Read carefully. Unless it be that you are guard yourself against them. A Muslim, they will say to you in the time of war, don't you lie? What war? They want to be your friend. It says, don't take them as a friend, you idiot. What war? If we are in war, we will not be asking you to be a friend. But yes, in Islam, Muslims are in war with everybody who don't believe in Islam. Everybody is an enemy. That is the teaching of the devil. He wants us to hate each other. And that appears in chapter 5, verse 14, where it says Allah will spread hatred and enmity. And then he continues saying, save yourself from them, taking it as it were security, saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart dislike this. What? While what? While your heart dislike this. Do you see it? And you are telling me that Allah is not the devil? So this God, he said to you, speak to the Christian in a friendly way. Oh, say we Muslims, we really like Christians and we really, you know, we love the Christians. We love the Jews, we love the Hindus. As long your heart is just like this, you are fine. But if you are sincere, as it says here, but the one who is taking the hypocrite and disbelievers as a friend, who is he, and he is sincere in that, the one who is sincere, he has no connection with Allah. 
You cannot be sincere human being and you have connection with Allah and this is your words and this is your website and this is your interpretation and this is your Quran. Do you see it? You cannot be sincere. And if you are sincere, you are not a Muslim no more. Who said that? It's in front of you. Uh, Red Rose, we will answer your question, maybe in some other time, because soon we will leave. Did we prove to you already that Quran is from the devil? Did we? Not to forget to mention the Quran ordered me to beat my wife. I mean, what kind of God does God, he says, beat your wife? I mean, this is God? Is that going to make her love me more? What beat my wife, you idiot? What kind of God, he says, go and have sex with the children? Isn't it obvious that this is from the devil? How evil it is to be 54 years old and then you go after a child, she is not even six. Six in the Muslim calendar, she is five in our calendar. Muhammad even he asked for a hand of a, of a child, she is an infant. She was less than a year or two years old. If we go back to the Bible, and this is how I want to close my statement with, the Bible says one sentence is better than a thousand book of wisdom written by man. You shall know them by their fruits. Just one line. The Lord, he taught us how to find out who is the devil. From their fruits, you shall know, know them. It's not from their names. You can call yourself a Christian. You can call yourself Hindu. You can call yourself a Muhammad. You can, you, can call yourself, you can call yourself God. From their fruit, not from their names, not from their color. You can be black. You can be white. You can be Asian. You can be whatever. Who care? Show me your fruit. I will tell you who you are. If you have a good fruit, regardless of your color, black or white, Asian or whatever. You speak Arabic, you speak English, you speak German, who care? You speak Indonesian, you whatever you dress, show me your fruit. That is God talking. From their fruit, you shall know them. And I do not need to tell you how filthy the fruit of Muhammad. I'm not going to say the fruit of Allah because Allah and Muhammad is one person. Go and see the fruit of Jesus. While Jesus was spending his life doing great work for us, Muhammad was doing great killing, raping, collecting money, jewelries and silvers. Beating a Jewish man until he died to tell him where he hide his money. You believe it? That is a prophet of God. Where is your money? So my friend, the Lord is the good God. And the good God, he come with good teaching. And I cannot find better teaching than our Lord, the Messiah. Chapter 7 is something very beautiful, and I want to share it with you in the book of Matthew, so we can learn something good. In the same time, hearing those words will wash our heart from all the garbage we heard Christian Prince speaking about when he was speaking about the faith of Muhammad. Let us clean our heart, wash our ears, 
from the filthy Muhammad teaching. Matthew 7. Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? For how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite! First cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom, if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Beautiful. Build your house, my friend, on the rocks. Look how Allah, where he built his house. This is the house of Allah. Can you believe it? The house of Allah, which Allah, he chose the location, is in the most stupid location in the city of Mecca, where any little rain happened, all the sewage will come to the house of Allah.
if Allah is gone, and Allah, he chose the location for his more honorable house, how Allah, he chose the wrong location for his house, and how he is so stupid to the point he could not find a good location. What kind of God this God is? Isn't it obvious that this God is an idiot? Isn't it this is proof that this is have nothing to do with God? Half of the Kaaba is covered by sewage water. By the way, there's no sewage there. People, they have septic tank. If you do not know what is that, it's just a hole in the ground. So when too much rain happen, all the poopoo will fly. You will see the poopoo fly, you know, floating in the top of the water, and all will go to the Kaaba. And then the Muslim, they ask the American engineering to find a solution. Allah cannot fix the Kaaba problem. It was the engineers of America. Alhamdulillah. And actually, until now, it can happen if there is too much rain. Again, this is the Kaaba. Very simple question. You do not need to be a genius. If this is a book, if this is a book from God, and this is the house of God, why God He chose the house in a bad location? Can't Allah move His finger up, and the Kaaba will go up like sixty meter up, and no flood can cover it? Can't he? Isn't it this is enough to prove to us that all of this religion is a cult, stupid? The honorable house of Allah. Isn't it the flood in the Quran was a curse of God to the people of Noah? So how Allah is cursing his own house? Are you getting my point? If the Muslim believe that the flood is a curse, this is the Muslim belief. I'm not talking about my belief now. And Allah, he curses people by flood, destroy them. So how Allah, he curses his house by a flood. And this is an answer for the claim saying that if shaitan is the one behind the Quran, so how shaitan, he curses himself. I hope we have a good time together. Again, I want to say thank you for all those who download our videos and thank you for all those who support us. You know, I don't really uh, um, say too much thank you for people who support me because I know they are not there to, to waiting for me to say thank you. But I have to say, we thank all of them. Those who download the videos, those who add subtitle, those who post it around, those who send us donation, we appreciate you. Uh, those who translate my books, uh, and those who made our work big work huge work to the point nations are watching our videos reading our books and I say this is our books those are our books this is our work not only my work for I sometimes find that I am fighting alone but I'm fighting alone with a few and the few are amazing It might be few, but the few, they have a lot of fruits. And I'm very thankful for the Lord for having those few. And the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So we have a few people who support us. But the few, they are working and giving, helping. And nobody can deny their work. Download the video, add subtitle in your language, let everybody learn. You can make actually from this video an article in your language. You can make this article by putting the words in the videos in a blog. You can say Christian Prince, he said this. Or you can make just an article saying, prove that Allah is the devil. 
rethink or reword things. Just be honest when you write it. Let us share the truth, and the truth will set us free. Again, to remind you, in order to find where you can watch my live broadcast, always subscribe to the channels who they load my video so you can watch them because we delete them in my channel but in order to watch the live broadcast you go always to patreon you don't have to uh, uh, to donate in patreon actually most of people who subscribe there they are not donators they are just names subscribe to be updated uh, for sure we 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 know we we are thankful for those who help uh, uh, by donation but you don't need to donate in order to be updated our work is for free totally for free this is how you can be updated patreon is in the front of you in instagram arabian profit minds.com we have another account it's called the quality of life m27 and for sure we have uh, Facebook and this is Facebook this is mind this is a Twitter all of those are form of communication so all of you you will know how and where to find Christian Prince because the devil is trying his best to fight me to fight my mission we are doing a great damage to the grave of the devil his marble is exposed there's marble outside they cover the house of Allah with marble with fancy clothing that is the paganism clothing idols black stones kissers hate teachers we want the world to live in peace. We want and we love the Muslims. We want to save them. Fight hate by fighting Islam. Bring peace by fighting Islam. Islam is not peace. Islam actually the word means surrender in war. They lie to you when they say Islam means peace. The word peace in Arabic is salam, which is coming from the Aramaic and Hebrew, shalom. Islam is the opposite. Like you say, known and unknown. This is why there's alif in the beginning, for it is surrender. Aslim, taslam. Submit to surrendering, not submit willingly, as they say to you. You surrender yourself or you die. Thank you again for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And I will see you soon again. Stay tuned. Subscribe to all those channels we told you about to be to, to find out when I'm going to go live on air again. And until I see you again, may the Lord bless you. Uh, today we heard the news that the Russian they found a cure for Corona. I hope this is true. I hope that the whole world will recover from this uh, 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 filthy virus which is destroying the life of a human being. Uh, we pray that all of you will be safe and all of you will be preserved by his glorious name, we pray. Thank you very much. God bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince saying to you goodbye. Bye-bye.